Okay, this is the last type of example. I've tried to drop a couple hints as we've gone along here. Factor 10x squared minus 40, two terms. Can you square root 10? No. Can you square root 40? No. But we should always look for a common factor. So 10 goes into both of these. So if I were to factor out a 10, 10 times x squared is 10x squared. 10 times negative 4 gives you negative 40. Now look at those. x squared, I could square root that. 4, I could square root that. Square root of x squared is x. Square root of 4 is 2. So x plus 2 and x minus 2. That's our final answer. There's a couple ways you could check that if you want. You could do the uh, stuff in parentheses first and then multiply by 10 at the end. Or you could even distribute the 10 to one of the sets of parentheses. If you did that, 10 times x is 10x, 10 times 2 is 20. And then you could FOIL that with the x minus 2. So let's see, 10x times x is 10x squared, 10x times negative 2 is negative 20x. And we got our inside, positive 20x. And last, 20 times negative 2 is negative 40. Middle terms cancel, 10x squared minus 40. Fantastic. Always look for a greatest common factor first. So, pause it, try them out. All right, 8y squared and 50. Uh, they're both even, so we could take out a 2 which leaves us with 4y squared minus 25. Those are both perfect squares. Square root of 4y squared is 2y. Square root of 25 is 5. So 2y plus 5, 2y minus 5. 3c squared minus 75. They have 3 in common. 3 times c squared is 3c squared. 3 times 25 is 75. Hey, those are two things we could square root. Square root of c squared is c, square root of 25 is 5. And let me move my face out of the way here. Last one. What do they have in common? A 7. 7 times 4k squared is 28k squared, and 7 times 1 is 7. Those are both perfect squares. Square root of 4k squared is 2k. Square root of 1 is 1. So 2k plus 1 and 2k minus 1. Splendid!